On this week's show, we take a look at the Flowers for Bees campaign in partnership with the Prince Albert II of Monaco Foundation, a tough challenge for a good cause, the Défi des Barges, and to finish off, the Monte Carlo International Jumping Competition. We start with a campaign called Flowers for Bees. This project, run by the French Melitology Observatory, aims to encourage people to sow or plant honey-producing plants in order to improve bees' nutrition. We protect those we love, and to love something, you must know about it. So it's absolutely necessary today to increase awareness amongst the children as early as possible about how important bees are. It is important. The Prince Albert II Foundation is a partner of this campaign. Its president, the Sovereign Prince, visited one of the Principality's schools to increase awareness of the role that bees play in our environment. It's an incredible challenge in which physical achievement is used for a good cause. The Défi des Barges, or Barges Challenge, recently took place in the Mediterranean. The objective was to travel from Corsica to the Principality on board a small boat. Proceeds went to two Monégasque associations, Les Enfants de Francky and Le Rocher du Coeur. Bah, ça fait 8 mois que je prépare ce, euh, parce que c'est à chaque fois entre 8 mois et 12 mois de, de travail. I've been working on this project for 8 to 12 months and both teams were great. Blue or red, they were fantastic. There was a great spirit. For me, it's an emotional moment as it's the arrival, the completion of the project and everything went well. That was another of my priorities, that the rowers get some pleasure out of it, even if it was hard. Towards the end, some of them fell apart, about a quarter of them, and they needed encouragement because it isn't easy. Pour les encourager, euh, parce que c'est voilà, pas évident. It took 36 hours of rowing to cover the 190 kilometers between Saint Florent and Monaco, an exceptional feat for the third edition of this challenge. Time to look at the results of the Mediterranean Games, which were held in Tarragona in Spain at the end of June. 21 Monégasque athletes took part in the competition and it's looking good for the delegation. Back from her pregnancy leave, Xiao Xingyang proved she was back on top form by winning the silver medal in table tennis, her first medal since her return to competition. Luca Katarina also won a silver medal in tennis after a great competition on the clay courts. J'ai beaucoup souffert sur le terrain. I suffered a lot on the court. It was very hot. I didn't always manage to play like I wanted to, so I'm very proud to have found solutions and to come back with a medal. That was my main objective. Monaco has won four medals so far in the Mediterranean Games. During the closing ceremony, the torch was passed on to Oran, the next town to host the competition. The 19th edition takes place in 2021. The Monte Carlo International Jumping Competition once again attracted all the best riders in the world. There are two big events during the competition, starting with the Longines Pro-Am Cup. Professionals and amateurs come together for this timed relay. A very exciting race indeed. It's great because you meet your partner just before. You only have a bit of time to get to know each other and make the most of their advice. It is fantastic because they are high-level international riders. It really is fun. You get caught up in it. The 13th edition of the Longines Global Champions Tour brought the event to a close after three days of world-class horse riding on Port Hercule. After the two rounds, it was Irish rider Shane Breen who won the Prince Albert II Grand Prize. Time to go. See you next week.